Comenda Bio presents a tutorial for the Smart Denting Grinder Genesis, from extraction to autologous graft in less than 8 minutes. Step 1, we prepare the tooth. So after extraction, we clean the surface of the tooth from any soft tissue, composites, endomaterials or decay. We use any burr, preferably a surgical burr or a tungsten burr. You can also use a piezo knife. We recommend the burrs are irrigated if possible. No need to remove the enamel. After cleaning, mechanically cleaning the tooth, we air dry the tooth with an air syringe as much as possible, or we can also use a gauze. It's important that the tooth will be completely dry. Step two, we will be converting the tooth into particulate using the Smart Dentin Grinder Genesis device. Switching it on in the back, the green light power, li power indicator will turn on. We then use a disposable grinding chamber. We only use one disposable grinders per patient. Those are disposable. We align the lock icon with the insert icon and turn to lock position. Chamber ready indicator will flash red three times and then turn green. If the indicator remains red, it means that this chamber has already been used and should not be used again. You will need to replace the chamber. We twist open the cap and place up to three teeth at a time in the chamber. We place the cap back on and align again uh, the lock icon to uh, the, the position. We press the grind button and then the blade will spin for three seconds. We then press the sort button and the unit will vibrate for 10 seconds. We're going to repeat these two functions until no more particles are left around the blade in the top part of the chamber. That means everything, the entire tooth has been processed. Okay. Then we carefully pull out the top drawer. It will contain particulate uh, of, the, of 300 to 1,200 microns in size. We will transfer the particulate to the sterile mixing dish that's provided with the kit. The bottom drawer contains particulate smaller than 300 microns, but we can certainly add that to the dish uh, as well uh, to get additional volume. The smaller particular, uh, particulate will resorb uh, faster Step 3, disinfecting the graft. We will apply the dentin cleanser. This is the red cap bottle. It says number 1. And we will completely cover the graft with the liquid and let it soak for 5 minutes. The dentin cleanser will remove any organic substance and will basically render the graft bacteria free. We put the cap on the mixing dish just to avoid spoil, um, spillage. After five minutes, we will dehydrate the dentin cleanser, the liquid, with a sterile gauze, typically folding the, ga the gauze in two, and then just tipping the, the, the tip of the gauze in will work quite well. At this point, we will apply the dentin wash. This is the green bottle. The green cap bottle, it says number two on it, it's PBS, phosphate buffered saline. And again, we will completely cover the graft with the liquid and then dehydrate with a fresh sterile gauze. It's important to completely cover the graft with this liquid. This step, we will repeat twice. Um, the dentin wash will remove the dentin cleanser remnants and will bring the graph back to pH of 7.2. We'll dehydrate after each one of these dentin wash steps. The graft is now ready and can be used in the same way as any other grafting material that you're using. The graft can also be stored for future use. We have a separate video that 
talks about how that can be done. It's very easy to do. In the graph, whatever not, you're not using can be stored for many, many years only for the same patient. That's important. Additional notes. All consumable parts are sterile and can be reordered. Grinding chambers can't be sterilized. It should only be used for a single patient. The entire protocol will take seven to eight minutes and additional protocols are available on the website, uh, including how to partially demineralize the graft. Thank you for watching.